From the outside, it's easy to think that I've got it all figured out. My hair is straightened, I dress nicely, and my makeup is perfect. I look fine, so I must be fine. But you can't see my inner turmoil. And if you can't see it, do you know it's really happening? The uncontrollable thoughts that are constantly going from my mind, like a ticking time bomb that can explode at any minute. And once fuses slip, there's sometimes no stopping it. My heart starts to race. I breathe quicker and I become clammy and nauseous. My anxiety is spiraled out of control and I have no choice. I stay at home. My name is Daniel and my girlfriend Hannah and my sister Shakira both suffer from anxiety. Even though I don't suffer from anxiety, it still has a big impact on my life. Because with my sister, I lack in sleep. Because most nights I have to stay up quite late to try to calm her down because she always gets worried and anxious about things in her life. Like exams, college, uni, things like that. And with my girlfriend, we can't go to certain restaurants because she always feels anxious about people around her. Like there was one time where we went to London and we couldn't do a lot around there because she just felt anxious about the space around her and walking around. We went to try to go to Nando's and she just felt too anxious to sit down and eat. And then there's just times where I can't say certain things to her because she just overthinks things and worries too much. The first time I witnessed my girlfriend have a panic attack was heartbreaking because I just felt hopeless because I couldn't do anything for her. I couldn't calm her down even though I promised her time and time again I'll always be there for her. I couldn't actually do anything, I couldn't make her laugh, I couldn't do anything, no matter what I tried, she just wouldn't calm her down, and it got me even more worried. Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm Hannah's mum. I first noticed the signs of anxiety in Hannah a couple of years ago. Um, she was away with people she didn't know when she became unwell and obviously she wanted to come home um, but unfortunately there was no safe way to get her home so she had to stay um, away and unfortunately was very poorly. Um, at the same time she had some friendship issues at school, she was just finishing her GCSE so planning on leaving school and starting at a new college and her sister was also making plans to go away to university so there was quite a lot of changes going on in her life. Hannah got too scared to cross the road at the bottom of our close and at that point I phoned the doctor and we went to see our GP who was fantastic. Um, he referred her and she had an assessment where she was deemed suitable to have some cognitive behaviour therapy. The therapy itself was very difficult at times. Um, Hannah had to tell the therapist um, all about her experiences which used to make her very upset and as a mother it's very difficult to listen to how your child feels um, because all you want is for them to be happy and knowing that Hannah wasn't happy at that time was very difficult. However on the upside the cognitive behaviour therapy has given Hannah some really good coping strategies and combined with her own inner strength um, she's now managed two years at college and is planning on going off to university herself. Um, anxiety I think will always be a part of Hannah's life but so long as she is able to put her coping strategies um, in then I think she will hopefully go on to lead a full um, and successful life and we're very proud of her.